Hey guys, what's up? This is Right Rock. So, I haven't used this uh, logo in a while. This is basically my mainly for when I'm live streaming, so I can if I'm gonna take a break, go to the bathroom or something. I put this up while I do it. Anyway, so the game we're gonna look at today is an indie game, and it's on a platform called Jolt. Now, I did a previous video a while back covering what that probably showed it on my, on, on the video recording. It was basically a whole video surrounding that program so if you're more curious to what it is go ahead on my uh go to my channel go to search type in jolt that video should pop up and go ahead and watch it and then i'll give you the rundown where to get it how to use it uh how to use all the stuff on it and uh you know how if you want it or don't want it before you before you download it now basically there are free games and there are pay games on the game and then there are also promotional games where you can download a demo of a full game that's actually for sale on Steam. Now when you click on the product page of a game that you want, you will always be given details. It'll tell you uh, what engine it's made in, if it's completed, if it's a demo, if it says demo that means it's probably, and then it'll probably tell you where it's sold at, if it's just a demo where the full version is. You can buy games on here. I don't know how that works. Personally, I don't know if the the maker of this program is getting cut on that or not. Um, but it's basically a really cool community for indie games. So yeah, let's get started here. So this is an indie game we're going to show you. It's made to look like a game on Nintendo 64. He, he deliberately wanted it to look like a Nintendo 64 game. That's all I know about it. Um, other than that, I have not played it. It just came out a couple weeks ago. Um, so let's get started. Cause I'm curious. It looks like it might be good. I mean, is you know, good to play around with anyway. I like the text. That's cool. Okay. Okay, he seems to walk a little bit quick, honestly. Uh, okay. It, it moves a little, like, it, you can't, it's hard to read when it's... Okay. That's like straight up freaking stolen from Mario Brothers. Okay, this is cool though. I mean, oh. Uh, definitely a practice game for him. Um, you can totally tell. Which uh, he's done. He's done a pretty decent job. Oh no! Oh, there's where my health is. Okay. So there is no automatic camera. You have to control the camera the whole time. Which is fine, honestly. Okay. Can I? Let's go swimming. The animation really suck. Okay, that. I see that. I see it. I see. It. What is this? Wrong something. It's an engine. Okay. So yeah, every once in a while, as you guys know, most of you at least, um, I like to bring you oddball stuff. Um, as always, I will bring you popular stuff, not because it's popular, but because I enjoy it. And it just so happens to be popular, like Mighty Number no. 9, I wanted to check that out, so I did. Um, whether it was popular or not, I would have, but that was just an extra bonus. Um, but I do like to bring you really oddball stuff sometimes too, you know, something just different than, than the... Uh, than what everybody else is doing. Or at least the majority of them. Well, 
Oh, they shoot fireball. Now, N64 was my favorite console back in the day. Um, and it still probably is. Um, from all the consoles I had back in the day, um, and I had a bunch of them, I, I would say N64 is probably the one I still enjoyed the most. Um, this, I mean, he did a decent job. It, it doesn't look exactly like an N64 game would look, I don't think. Um, But it's not far off either. It's actually pretty close. Yeah, I mean, you could tell this isn't finished, like, I mean, you know, he's released and it's finished, but you can tell he hasn't put a lot of time and detail into it for the simple fact that um, it was a test project more than anything to learn how to do all this, all these effects and everything else. Um, and he's going to move, take those, take those and do something that he actually wanted to. So, that's my guess anyway, because that's usually how it works, but, uh... I don't really know what the goal of this is, and I have a feeling, uh, there probably isn't the goal. That's okay. It feels pretty good. The controls, the, the character is a little too fast. Um, he's just just oh, just by a little bit. Um, and the, um, I, I don't know if you can control, uh, adjust. The controls, um, he's a little, I wouldn't say delayed, but like, no, it's not bad. The controls are decent. Um, the jumping works good. I like the double jump mechanic. I have no problem there. Um, the floating um, in the air when you do the jumble jump seems about right. Um, you can change direction easily. Um, run button uh, yeah I mean for what, for what the mechanics where they are you know as basic as they might be they're uh, they were good and they feel solid so yeah they're they're fine um, I mean they're not they're decent you know they feel a little loose a little loose but that's okay Well, I don't see... Yeah, I mean, this is cool, but I, I think this is about the only thing that's here right now, so... Um, it doesn't look to be really anything else, but good job, dude, whoever you are. Um, you've done a really good job here. Um, I, I really do. I think I think you could do some really cool stuff here. You could add some NPCs, um, add some quests, um, and, uh, you know... Enlarge the area by about maybe 50%. Add some uh, quests and stuff like that, and 
Um, you have a fun little starter area for sure. Um, so yeah, uh, I think this game is pretty cool for what it is, guys. I mean, obviously, you know, it's not really a game game, but I don't know. Anyway, uh, all right, guys. Well, um, that's it for me on this game. It's pretty cool. It's a cute little indie game. Um, I really like it, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Catch you in the next one.